Hello guys. Today let's see how we can build a housekeeping app in less than 10 minutes. Let's say you have a hotel and uh, you have some rooms that you want to service for your customers. So let's see how the app looks on job. So first we see the customer's request with the number, what is the request and a few instructions. The room boy clicks start. He goes to the place where the inventory is there or the restaurant to collect the food orders. And also we ask him to collect any new request that he has from the customer. So let's say here after delivering the extra pillow and towels, the new request that he has to give, uh, he collects from the customers. Let's say they want an uh, uh, early morning wake up call with two coffees. So after collecting the new request, the room boy clicks reached. So he completes the task. And then finally we show him when he started the task, when he completed it and what is the task that he did. So this way the hotel manager gets to know the data as to how soon or how quick the requests were fulfilled. Let's see how this was built on job now. So first to create any app on Zor, uh, we go to the workflows. The workflows are basically the canvas onto which you drag and drop elements and create the app in a matter of minutes. So you have screens and transitions. These are the two building blocks. So I'll delete this transition for now. So as you saw, the app, uh, we had three screens. The first screen for the customer request, the screen in between where he collects the inventory, and finally the completed screen. Let's rename the first screen. request the next would be collect inventory and finally the completed screen now let's go with the transitions so transitions are nothing but the links between each screen So first the user clicks start and then on the second screen he says reached so we create these both transitions let's uh, rename the transition from next to reached perfect now our workflow is ready we can start configuring the screens so on the left if you see we have all the list of components so as we were seeing, we show room number and we show the customer request that was asked. So we use the text component, text display component for both these purposes. And again, a text component to write all our instructions. So let me start writing them. So as you can see here, I wanted every instruction to be in a new line. So using slash n creates a new line for us. If you see the room number and customer request are gonna be dynamic values. So we do this with something called data fields on top. So let's start creating those data fields first with the room number. So we support multiple data types and here room number is going to be a number data type. So this collect data during input and making it mandatory means it is something that is required during task creation, which is the way it is going to work in our use case now. Next with the customer request, uh, this is going to be a text data type and we do need this also during task creation and it's going to be mandatory. So now we have created the two data fields that we need during task creation and the ones that we are going to show in the first screen. So the way to show it dynamically is just click on this icon, go under tasks 
under data and just select the data field we created. So it right away evaluates the expression and puts it in place for you. Similarly, let's do it for customer request. So the first screen is now ready. Let's go into collect inventory. Similarly here, we're gonna show a few instructions. So if you remember, we also had a field where we uh, collected any new request. Let's say the room boy went and reached the customer's room and gave few items and then he asks for something else, he or she asks for something else. So we can collect that also in the same screen. So adding that also under the instructions. So just drag and drop a text input component and uh, we say in the label what we want any new requests from the customer and we need to link it to a data field so we create a new data field here let me name it as new requests and just create it so this data field is linked to this input component so any data entered into this will be saved into the under the data field new request so let me write this also as an instruction for the room boy. So yeah, our app is now done for the second screen also. Moving on to the final completed screen where we want to show him what was the data he did on the tasks. So first I'll use the text component to say an acknowledgement saying he did the task. So thank you. And uh, great job. Yeah. So next we want to show him when he started the task, when he ended the task and everything. So the way to do it is Whenever the person clicks start, we need to capture this timestamp. The way to do it on Zor is using something called actions. So if you see here, we have an update data field action. So we need to create a data field first to capture the started timestamp and end timestamp. So let's go to creating the data fields. This is the same way we did. We create a started at. And then we create one more data field named uh, completed it so that we know the timestamps when he started the task and when he completed the task. Now we go to this transitions where he clicks start, go to actions again, click on update data fields, and we select the data field where we want to capture this. And uh, we need to name this action and name it as uh, store task start time clicking on fn opens a low code editor so this is something on job where you can write your own custom javascripts to process data to manipulate data and store it into the data fields so i'm just going to use uh, a basic string a new day dot to local string to capture the timestamp so this returns me the timestamp so that it's uh, there for me to use so you just hit it and you can see the data captured here and we click save so every time a user clicks start we can store the timestamp in the data field name started at 
Similarly, doing it for completed it also. Go again to the low code, write our uh, JavaScript function. Hit run, you can see that the expression is evaluated and we just click save. So now both transitions have an action where we store the timestamp of the transition into the data fields. Now to show these, we'll just use again two text display components. And also the task details that he did. So what was the request he fulfilled, and for what moment? You can show more than just one data field here. It's a text component, so you can do a combination of one or two or how many you want. So here I want to show him what is the request he fulfilled and for which room number. So I'm just gonna separate it using a bar and yeah come back into task and data and select the room number so we are done the app is now ready and it's good to go you can just hit publish and test the app just like we did so to do that you just come let's rename the app now i'll rename it as room service <clears throat> now, now hitting publish the app is live so now the, the workflow is ready we have created the app the way to test it is we need to create a task so click on create task and you can see a create task screen that is rendered dynamically we search for our workflow and you see teams and users so right now i am under the central team and the user is like a demo user you can create your own users as many as you want on zorp so I'm gonna say I need at room number 101, I need an extra pillow and towel. So yeah, that's how easy it is for you to build an app and test it. We did this all under 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, demo. Looking forward to you guys signing up on Zop and trying it. Thank you.